So the Knitter issue 150 arrived in the post today. Uh, I haven't looked at it properly yet. I had a quick flick to find my design in it, uh, but I haven't looked at it properly yet. But I thought I would sh quickly show you what, um, give you like a little sneak peek um, of what's in it. Oh, that's, that's one of my shawls. That's an old one from a few years ago. Uh, sit well. Some different top tips for sock knitters. This for useful. Oh, this is interesting. So, these socks are called Sunnefjord, which is a town in Norway where my um, sister was born. Uh, we lived there for a few years when I was very little. Um, my sister is three years younger than me, so we lived there when I was about two, three, four years old, I guess. Um, yeah, very nice little town in Norway. And there's an article about gloves. That's a very pretty top. I'm going to try and flick through for that, showing you all the uh, patterns and the charts. That is my pattern. That is knitted in um, Eden Cottage Yarn Bolin 4-ply. Um, it's a, um, I call it a um, hybrid shawl. It's kind of cross between a triangular shawl and a half hexagon shawl. It's got very nice shape. Um, and it sits really nicely on your shoulders. And you can wear it as a shawl. You can wear it kind of draped over your shoulder, around your shoulders like that. Or you can wear it just kind of bunched around as a scarf. But yeah, Bowlin, Bowlin, Bowlin four ply is really nice yarn from Eden Cottage Yarns. Um, that's a very nice top as well. I like that. That's a very nice. Oh, that's my shawl again. That's a very nice um, top, very nice and simple. Got some nice detail. Very like like that a lot. That's another picture of my shawl. So it's quite big. You can make it smaller by just working a few repeats of any of the kind of main charts. There is an article on my website um, in the tutorial section that actually talks about how to make shawls bigger and smaller and how easy it is depending on the shape. Um, so this is an article about um, Julie Harris, who's the uh, dyer behind watercolours and lace. She does uh, natural dyeing. Um, looking forward to reading that because I've used her yarns a few times, magazine designs, and they are gorgeous. And then this one is a design by Debbie Bliss called Billy. Really pretty jumper. It's got um, beaded. This is beads rather than color, rather than stranded color work. So it's basically like a stranded color work design almost, but created doing, using beads. Uh, really, really nice. And there's beads on the sleeves as well. Like that, very pretty. There's a calf facet, calf facet, calf facet. I'm never quite know how to pronounce his name. An eight page pullout. Very nice. Um, Yarn review, that's nice. Men's design, you don't see men's designs in magazines very often, but I like that. I think there's a bit of a difference between men's designs that women, I guess, I mean, there are men who knit, obviously, of course there are. But I would imagine most men's sweaters are probably knitted by women for men. And I think there's a difference between what women like to knit and what men like to wear. And it's interesting, it'd be interesting to know whether men who knit, whether there's a difference in what they like to knit and what they like to wear. Uh, I like this because I think a lot of men don't like stuff that's too fussy. Well, this is quite simple, but it's got really interesting lace detail on the yoke. So I really like that. I mean, I would happily wear that sweater. I would say it's a unisex sweater, really. But uh, I really like that. That's very nice. I think Simon would wear that as well. But I'm not going to show him because I'm not knitting him a sweater. I started a sweater for Simon 10 years ago, um, and I still haven't finished it. The reason I know it's 10 years ago is because I started it on a holiday when, uh, we went on a holiday when I turned 40, and um, I was 50 last August. So that's, um, that's actually an old design. Um, 
that's one of the samples that's actually for sale on my website that was originally designed in the knitter um yeah little plug for my website there thank you the knitter that's very nice oh that's a pretty project bag that's an ad for loop in london love that project bag that's very nice and then this sweater which is the one on the cover which i really really like very pretty it is i don't know what it's knitted in let's have a look it is knitted in stolen stitches newer worsted so that is carol fellas yarn um stolen stitches is this designed by emma winning Vining. i'm not sure how you pronounce it called barbary beautiful design the yarn looks lovely love that color very very pretty design and that's it and that's the pictures of all the designs that are in the magazine that's my shawl and also coming in the next issue um if i can find it again i can back somewhere here right. it earlier I'm like, oh there we go so next issue look at that beautiful shawl um i'm pretty certain that's my design as well and i feel really silly that i don't know for sure that it's my design but it looks like something that i would design um so i think that's my design i seem to remember knitting something like that beginning of this year this is the problem i design stuff in magazines and then i forget what i designed so anyway that's the new issue of the knitter um issue 150 in the shops soon um really really like it very nice i'm looking forward to sitting down and reading that later on so i hope you look out for that in the shops um or if you're in the uk at the moment maybe it's better to try and order it online somewhere considering the fact that a lot of shops are closed anyway it's a good issue so look out